most artists, we look at our work with a certain critical eye. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a bad thing if it paralyzes you from doing anything at all. You want to have this balance of knowing that you haven't arrived or that something can always be better or more interesting, but also not let that prevent you from putting anything out into the world at all. When you first open up a sketchbook, you see two blank pages. And that can often feel either intimidating or overwhelming or both. But this is about letting go of your fear and just diving in. While I was painting this, I was thinking just as much about the negative space as I was the space that I was painting. And that's because the negative space is part of what makes up the whole composition. Every time I use a new material, I end up making lots of little mistakes. Although I like to say when you're drawing in your sketchbook, there's no such thing as a mistake. I want to use this green paper sort of sparingly so that there are just pops of color coming out randomly. The combination of the organic floral motifs layered over the geometric shapes makes for a really cool spread. You may be looking at this beautiful background that you've created and say, why on earth would we cover that up? But I guarantee this layering technique I'm going to show you is going to knock your socks off. Keeping a sketchbook is a great way to play and experiment and have a private space for exploration. Some of my greatest art projects started in my sketchbook. Artists don't just sit down and know how to paint overnight, nor do they sit down and make a painting in one sitting that looks perfect. I have to force myself to sometimes put things out into the world that I know aren't perfect. That's part of the creative process. <laughs>